Unproductive. Go to Wonderland. I can't. I'm trapped in my past. Sergeant, this girl's badly burned. Call for a doctor. She'll be all right. No, Alice. Discard that delusion. Forget it. Go to Wonderland. I'd rather not, Doctor. My Wonderland's shattered. It's dead to me. Your preference doesn't signify, girl. Now, Alice, where are you? I'm sailing with a friend. Hmm. It's different somehow. Things have changed. Change is good. It's the first link in the chain of forgetting. What's happening? Are you mad? I'm not mad. Rabbit. That's not right. What's he doing? Is something wrong? Something wrong? Robert! No! Not that! Don't struggle, Alice. Let the new one emerge. Pollution. Corruption. It's killing me. Wonderland is destroyed. My mind is in ruins. Forget it, Alice. Block that dream. Wake at the sound. Better now, aren't we? My head's exploded and there's a steam hammer in my chest. Yes, well, the cost of forgetting is high. My memories make me vomit. What can I... Remember other things. I want to forget. Who would choose to be alone, imprisoned by their broken memories? I'll set you free, Alice. Memory is a curse more often than a blessing. So you've said many times, and... And I will say again, the past must be paid for. Now... Before our next session, collect those pills from our High Street chemist. Very well, Doctor. It's my turn to forget, Alice. Now, Charlie, your pa was hung for killing your ma who beat you. Let's forget that, shall we? The past is dead, Charlie. Find the door. Wasting doctor's time. I deserve my bitter tears. Want some? Ten years in the loony bin. No, ma, no relation. She's an orphan. Doctor's pet. Too good for the asylum. Mad as a hatter without the charm. Count her. Who'd want her? Another day, a different dream, perhaps. Hello, puss. Puss, 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 puss. Don't be afraid. Go 
God for that no change in that. You look like a discerning Jedi. Seems following furry creatures into dark holes has become a habit. I hope it's not a vice. The stars and garters, Alice Little. Slumming again, are we? Nurse Witless. What luck. Twice in as many months. Out on your own? You look frazzled, dearie. Not doing well? Not really. Come along home then and look at my pigeons. Pretty birds. Like you. I don't think so. Our last visit cost me several pounds and got me nowhere. I might recall where your mangy rabbit got to. Still a mess. No surprise. Her kin roasted like chestnuts right before her eyes. Ten years in Rutledge Asylum wasted everyone's time. Dr. Bumby won't do better. Still hauling out her questions. The fire. Her memory. I deserve consideration, don't I? Who found her her new clothes? Who got her a place at Bombay's? Where'd she be without me? On the street, selling her backside. Ooh, like some <laughs> pigeons, though. She's doled out the odd pound or two. But what I know is worth more than that. Kept her secret, haven't I? Heard to her say, all died on my account, I couldn't save you. I've told her my silence is for sale. Cheap. I'm a good sort, really. Not like her nanny, that uppity whore. Or that lawyer fellow Radcliffe took her stupid rabbit. Need money. Warned her I'd tell the coppers if she didn't make a donation to my upkeep. She yells and goes off her head. Does she can of remember her name? What I heard. Witless, do you mean to harm me? To send me back to the asylum? I won't say no. I've a first you could photograph. Need a drink. Your mouth needs washing. Very upsetting journey, but I'm rid of Pris, or whatever she's become. At least the place I've landed is somewhat familiar. About time too, Alice. Blasted cat. Don't try to bully me. I'm very much on edge. Perfect. When you're not on edge, you're taking up too much space. You're no help at all. 
But you know I can be. I'll frighten myself. When necessary, thanks very much. I was hoping to escape from all that. Abandon that hope. A new law reigns in this wonderland, Alice. It's very rough justice all round. We're at risk here. You be on your guard. this road before. Good things in small packages? Though lacking a bathing costume, a plunge in that pool is in order. My god, I'm shrinking in this potion. Sh shall I disappear? Almost, but the upside is that while smaller, you can see things that are nearly invisible to your bigger self. Ah, I get it, quite. Forests for the trees, just the other way round. Short-sighted is more than a matter of perspective. The Vorpal Blade is swift and keen, and always ready for service. I've not come back here looking for a fight. Really? That's a pity. One's certainly looking for you. You may approach. Why would I do that? You want to eat me? Yes, well, you taught me manners. And I've lost my taste for mad women. Strictly a poor sign diet for me. Everything's better with bacon, don't you agree? Of course you do. Now, there are pig snouts scattered about. I heard a few behind the house. Go fetch them for me. But take care for the pests that block your way. Pepper them up if they do. They need spice. And you're just the dear a girl to season them for me. You'll find that grinder serviceable. Why not season your own pig parts? Matter of priorities. My alabaster skin needs protection from the disgusting creatures running amok amidst the environs. But one gets peckish. Look, all you have to do is listen for the oink, then shoot the snout. You may like the results. I certainly will.
mechanical malfunctions, this disaster is either his doing or his epitaph. Domain, almost as I remember it. Appearances, as you know better than most, can be deceiving, Alice. Much has changed since your last visit. Dr. Bumby says change is constructive, that different is good. Different denotes neither bad nor good, but it certainly means not the same. Find the Hatter, Alice. He knows more about different than you. But does he know more about the difference between bad and good? Making friends, Alice. You're as randomly lethal and entirely confused as you ever were. I've managed without you so far, Cat. Return to whatever hovels home to you. I'll call if I need you. Predictably rash. It's not a question of if, Alice. It's when. Now hold on, and as they say, shut up. So typical. made more graceful entrances. I suppose I must be grateful nothing's broken. Obsessed with time. Find him, or your own time may be short. Lovely library was a fire trap. A conflagration waiting to happen.
Is that me? No. Is it? No. Let's go to your wake. No. No. Bad dream. No. A blasty good night. Hatter, I recall leaving you in a decrepit condition. But what? What? not in pieces. Uh, it's you. What's happened here? You've lost your hat, and some parts are missing. Missing indeed, though things being what they are. I barely missed their missing. As to what's happened, you should know that better than I. It's your place after all. I know my place. When did you ever know your place? Or how to keep it? Now what's going on? Ah, that's going on. Round and up and down into my ears and through my eyes, not my nostrils, down my gullet and whining in my cat. Papa was exceedingly fond of trains. I don't like them much. You won't like this one at all. Nothing like when Mock Turtle was in charge of the looking last line. This railroad's a bloody shambles. The stink is ferocious, light, blinding, the noise, hellacious. Ah, oh, quite, Tata. I get the idea. A bad train. The world is upside down, Alice. Inmates run the asylum. No, thanks. And worst of all, I've left tealess. Tragic. If I do help, will you help me in return? Cross my heart, if I had one. Find my limbs and toss them into the chute. Machines will do the rest. Be on your way now, that's a good girl. <laughs> Best way out is through the crock face. Well, 
really doesn't matter. I'm going to crush you. Impediment. <laughs> I'll just move along. I'll deal with you later, Alice. You'll never stop our grand plan. <laughs> will make a nice change. Expect no thanks until I'm completely reconstructed. No resting on laurels, chiffoniers, chaise lounges, Ming folding chairs, uh, stools. of this desolate tract are unknown to all but the inhabitants. Your dogged persistence will be rewarded with pain! I told you to cease and desist, but my warning goes unheeded. So without regret, you're about to feel like a lobster who's been tossed into the boiling pot!
I've finished my work and you're complete, Tata. Now, what about this damnable train? I feel like a new man, or whatever I am. I feel like an unsprung spring, like an uncorroded gear, like an untarnished bit of metal that sticks in your eye. Answer me, Hatter. I'm suffering. And changes here are a cause, or they're a reflection, or the effect. What's going on? What are the new rules? The law is just, just a whisper away, away home to wonder, wonder who... Who knows how to measure rules? With a ruler! Cruel rules. Mm. Idiot. I should have left you in bits. Come. The least you can do is help me discover what's going on. This door open. Judgment must be severely impaired. those two quaking? What are they up to? You'll never stop us, silly Hatter and Alice. It's left! You're too the late! Insolent, the insolence, the arrogance, the execrable table manners, they are destroyers of Wonderland, defilers, denuders, derangers, delightful, is present! Did they actually create that infernal train to destroy Wonderland? What does that matter? They deserve to die. Ah! Put me down this instant! I ought to be Enough talk! Battle time, Missy! Abandon false hope! Forget the past! The damage is done! <laughs> Let the madness begin! Resume the folly! You promised. Where is that train going? What's its purpose? Tell me. Now. There's no time for whatever it is you want to talk about. It's time for tea. Talk 
trees with turtle. He ran the looking glass line. <coughs> Come on, you lot. We can still be friends. I've got a fine Darjeeling. Drink, drink. <laughs> My memories are shattered. I'm trying to collect the pieces, and I now believe the train impedes me. You must help me. You promised. Ask the one who helps them what helps themselves, whoever that is. Ah! Very pithy. He deserved to die. And I'm about to drown in tea in ignorance. Caught me very own ribbon, then. Saints be praised that he works in mysterious ways. He's got plans for her. Take her over to the mangled mermaid. Rent a bed. Answer <laughs> woo girl, Mr. Brawl. What do you think you're doing? What comes natural, like? Not natural to me. Get away. The white cat reminds me of my snowdrop. Nanny knew her. Tart with some rough edges. Likes everything rough, I'll wager. A handsome offer, but... I've got an appointment with another man. Well, girl, how hard do you want to make this? You should know that doctor says I have a terrible disease. Where's me money, you fucking spunk bucket? Get those fat assed whores out on the street or I'll come up and brain you. Shut off, you cocker snipe. You'll never get past Long Tim. I'll get what you and your flusies owe me, Miss Ladybird. See if I don't. Maybe you notice I'm not pissing me drawers at the prospect. Alice Little, you'll make a nice change. Bring your disheveled self up here. The Which one's the bigger? Fuck off, he's getting murdered. Free Bob. You won't give me what I want. I'll burn this dump of yours down to the ground. Go away. She's done no harm. <laughs> she hurt me feelings. Better come aboard, Alice. We're doomed, of course. What? There's no hope then. Oh, there's an infinite amount of hope. But no force. Now get up here. Confounded beasts. They want my ship. I think you're more to their taste. Never. We're almost relatives. You're related to Sue, Admiral. <gasps> I've an idea. We'll leave this mayhem and go to Coffin to show. It's better than Gaff. Carpenter promises if you don't take seriously, can't I? 
Thomas. Best dive now, Admiral, or the sharks will have us for lunch. too quickly. My ship's a wreck, and I am too. Admirals go down with their ships. In any case, I never knew you for a sailor. If memory serves, you were station master of the Looking Glass Line. Mm -hmm. Sacked from the railroad, without the option, redundant, the nitwits said. Never a holiday. Loyal as a bulldog, going in a different direction, my Aunt Fanny, if I had one. Going off the rails more like bloody disaster. Now I'm shipless. The old railroad's dead, and this new thing's a monstrosity. It never runs on time. Engineers are asleep at the switch. What I don't know about it can't hurt me. Say no more. Nods as good as a wink. Change the subject. We avoid speaking about the thing whose name should not be spoken. Hearing something useful about this new train would make for a change? You don't respect the suffering of others. Go ask your questions and smart remarks to Caterpillar. I'm sorry, Admiral. Really. Please, tell me what you know about the train. I'll just say we've escaped a contaminating corruption. Count yourself lucky to be down here. But I don't want to escape. I want to stop it. I must stop it to save myself. And Wonderland too. Nonsense. Speak more nonsense. Diversions rule the day. The show must go on and so on. Speaking of shows... We weren't. Yeah, well, never mind. Here's a ticket for the show Carpenter's Mounting. Use it. I was the last one in the library the night of the fire. The log I added to the grate was dead when I went upstairs to bed with Dinah. If it wasn't... I may be responsible for my family's deaths. What lies beneath this patina of civility? Something wicked, I'll wager. Delighted to see you again, my dear. Your arrival is filled with fortunatality itself. Really? I didn't even know... My pregnant show is about to pop. It requires only a medicament of your help velocity. I don't have much experience, but I do need to reconstruct my... We can barter. Have a nice screwdriver, nearly new, or a nice hammer if you... There's a train that's corrupting Wonderland, and I'm looking for help to restrain or destroy it. Most vexatious, no doubt, will address that monstrosity directly, that's to say, eventually. Now, let's intermediate more important matters. Due to a large hysterical foul-up, some of the show's requisites need to be gathered. The munificent script needs fetching. 
The writer's overly imaginative and exploring several endings. Then you'll need to assemble the show's tune deft music. And finally, gather our stars! The show's tasty. Uh, nay, tasteful performers. You should leave now. The essentiality of haste is essential. It hardly seems you're ready for the show. Why can't you assemble these things yourself? An impresario has arrangements. Ducks in a row, fish to fry, calls to Newcastle, etc., etc. Fetch the script from the writer, then we can batter or clatter or natter as the case may be. Is the writer cantankerous? To a personage of your distinguished repudiation? I blush at the notionality. He's an octopus, by the by. Lives over that way. Ta-da! This smells like a ripe distillery with a whiff of halitosis and urine. It's a scent of unrecognised genius. It's a piss off. More empties than a Dublin brewery. The carpenter sent me. For starters, the carpenter is a pusillanimous, parsimonious, petty fogging moron. That's his maybe, but he sent me for this script. I need. Your needs are shite. I need a drink. Who cares? I need those responsible for my abortive career in chains. No joy. I need to know what love is. The world is mum. Just now, I need a dose of hide and seek. Find me thrice, fair maid. Be quick about it, and we can deal. A lifetime hiding his true colors gives him an edge. But he can't conceal the way he moves. It's all in the game. A fair cop. You've won. You're a good sport. And no one died. Join me in the library. Unlike some, I don't Welsh. The carpenter commissioned a song and dance number on morality. Art and good sense be damned. He demands mirth, silliness, and a strange debauchery all round. All this will do a hero turn as death. Imagine! I'll bring the script to the theatre. You can be on your way. No doubt Carmen has got you collecting pisky and beavers for the musical portion. The man really hires the proper talent. Some fish can sing! Come on. I'm not terribly musical, but you seem out of tune. It's not my fault. I can't hear my notes. The pipes are obstructed. I can see that. Why not do something about it? And endanger my vocal cords. You might do it for Everyone me. Everyone here has an excuse for doing nothing. Reminds me of the asylum. Considerably more application. I'm sure you'd like to do a decent job. Not lost, perhaps mislaid. I suppose I'll have to help you carry the tune. Better be light.
The audience will be grateful for your efforts. I doubt it. The performers' meager efforts will be enhanced by my musical score. Please wake them with this exciting news. Interrupted my dreams. Oh well, off to the show, I suppose. Impresario, you're a killer! The mastermind of a criminal enterprise! This world is not so either or, Alice. And I've done your bidding. You did a few errands, got your hands dirty. Big deal. The show distraculates the crowd. Shame you'll miss it. You need to deal with these sailors. It's your time. Time? Time? The time has come to talk of ships and, uh, and, and vegetables and royalty and, uh, and whether pigs have wings and so on. Enough of that, walrus. You start wailing about there being too much sand on the beach, I'll have your blubber for breakfast. Shame on you, Carpenter. You made a promise. I had no choice. One can't always do as one would like. I'd have thought you'd know that by now. souls are trapped. You must release them. Do they want to be at peace? They do not know their own minds. What's true of the living is often true of the dead.
Every picture tells a story. Sometimes we don't like the ending. Sometimes we don't understand it. Quite enough of that, I think. Enough preliminaries. Here's the performance you've been waiting for. Proves I am without prejudice and have a fine sense of humor. Sword and crown are worthless here. I invite everyone to dance. Laborers, lawyers, church and gown all make their little trance. This life is full of random deaths and heaps of grief and shame. So few are soothed by accident. You want someone to blame? Fire, plague, and strange disease. Drowned, murdered, or if you please. A long fall down the basement stairs. None are expected. No one cares. I often must work very hard. Sweat running down my skin. After the dance, I then must rest. And the eating can begin. Time to eat. Death is the ultimate equalizer. All have the right to be eaten. <laughs> Get a knife, Princess. Don't push. All will be served. So to speak. Wicked thing. Feasting while Wonderland is destroyed. I'm not the enemy you seek, Alice. I tried to hide this bit of Wonderland from that beast. Appeasement's never clean. We must all play our assigned roles. Are you a pawn or a queen? An idiot or a practiced fool? However this turns out, consider the prospect that you've been misled, Alice. Then ask, by whom? No! Who set that bloody train in motion? Where has it come from? It arrived when you arrived, and it's more horrible even than you could currently imagine. The death of a dream! Caterpillar may know how! And my mouth tastes like bile. Where's the brute that hit me, Nanny? Nasty prats out cold. Not dead, and more's the pity. What did he want? What they all want. Money he didn't earn. What were you thinking, butting into that mess? You could have been killed. Nanny, my mind's in pieces. I still have terrible visions, and I need to know. About the fire. Same as always. You need to move on, Alice. So do I. Well, at least she's not spewing that asylum nonsense. My past is dead, I killed them, I should have saved them, I should have died. Her mind was in shambles. Radcliffe thought familiar faces would bring her round. After a year, he lost interest in their inheritance, greedy sod. Still, always asking his bizarre questions. Every dose of madness, I'd say, but honest is never the best policy in this life. When she wasn't comatose, she gaped, eyes like pinwheels, drooled, occasionally squeaked, never uttered a sensible sound. And like the child she was, she kept her secrets close. Gone off some lurkers, common as cockroaches. And those poor tykes are food for perverts, like the blameless ants that wasps consume or spiders feed and prey. You visited my room at Rutledge. What you were you- call that? Radcliffe paid me for a bit. A woman alone sometimes does what she doesn't particularly feel like doing, as you know. Nurse Whitless said you'd fallen on hard times. I'm no drunk like her. I'm hurting no one. Hookin's not a bad life. Except for the pimps. She also said you might have my rabbit. Please, Nanny, talk about the damn fire. Never seems to help. 
Look, Alice, I can't give you what I don't have. Radcliffe wrote the inquest report. I'll take you to him. Besides, he's got your damn rabbit. You should remember that. All right, but Mr. Radcliffe's useless. <sighs> don't I know it. Little, Mr. Radcliffe. Ah, oh, you're back. I suppose you better come up. Mind the latch. My rabbit. Forgotten your manners? And what else, I wonder? You abandoned it at Rutledge Asylum, my dear. We've been over this before. In a huff as usual, oozing with attitude and accusatory flummery, I've stolen her rabbit. Ridiculous pretext. She's here about the fire again. All the mad child wants to talk about. My report found her family dead by misadventure. She won't accept it goes on and on about her killing memories and her need to know the truth. The alleged truth is the fire began in the library when the cat knocked over a lamp. The blaze trapped her parents and sister upstairs. Sister Lizzie never even unlocked her door, died in her bed. The guilty cat always sets her off. She denies it, makes no sense, it can't be, etc. Agreed. From the outset, Alice was my candidate for the pyromaniac. The girl had a fixation with fire. I once remarked that I thought she might have had a larger role in causing the tragedy. She suffered some sort of psychotic episode. Did I rip his head off? I wanted to. What's left of my brain will explode. Is it mad to pray for better hallucinations? Perhaps I'm fated to expire right here. Seeking refuge from the wicked world, perhaps things only look like they've gone to hell. You're not that good a liar, and I'm not that stupid, but something a bit less calamitous would have been welcome. This unmitigated disaster is your doing, and it will get worse. Your train keeps a hellish schedule. Get moving. Time waits for no one. The change has begun. The train is perfectly capable of terrifying me, Cat. You should find another job. Is there really so little hope? There's even less, and if fear paralyzes you, we are lost. Journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. A single step off London Bridge could end my journey. Failure was your epitaph. Uh, I'd hoped you were more courageous. <laughs> that vaporous ledge only appears as flimsy and insubstantial as your confidence. It will hold you, trust me.
I'm devastated. Look what's become of my beautiful valley. All things change in the fullness of time, often not for better. about you, Alice. Look at the destruction around you. Consider its cause. There You are familiar with the saying that smoking stunts your growth. Adults assault children with that adage, usually while they've got a pipe stuck in their mouths. I won't ask you to inhale. Let the smoke envelop you. Saves a single soul, saves the universe. Remember. Victories in combat and conundrum suggest your fitness to confront the challenges ahead. Mental strength will confirm your worthiness, or declare your defeat. The wicked wasps lay siege upon us and control the peaks to east and west. You must defeat them to reach Caterpillar's retreat. I suppose I must go to the mountain top, as it won't come to me. We have faith that Caterpillar, the strange and wondrous, helps those in need. One day we'll have proof. Purity of heart is to will one thing. To approach his sacred eyrie, you must confront the savage Daimyos. You prevent our access to his power. 
I'll open the entrance to the sacred caves where your journey begins. Regard this depiction of domestic harmony and order. The fruitful landscape encouraged industry, tolerance, and cooperation. Loving families flourished, happy children and dear friends, grateful for their well-being, lived for generations, secure, active, and free. But a sudden onslaught of alien attacks broke their fragile bodies and nearly crushed their generous spirits. Saved my life. I survived because she showed me how to escape. I didn't leave the lamp in the library, and Dinah didn't knock it over. The lamp and Dinah were upstairs when I went to bed. Dinah was in the room with me when the fire started. Caterpillar, why have you abandoned us? The door ahead is sealed. Only by playing the correct sequence of bells can it be opened. A dubious honor, I suspect. The tunes embedded in my memory, like Twinkle Twinkle Little Bat. Get to the tree, Alice! Help our brothers! A bridge will complete the path, but this substance has blocked the way. Can you help us to remove it? I believe I've got the proper tool. At the top of the mountain, you will find the entrance to the next sacred cave. most often confer benefit to the source of their gratitude. Belligerents, without true cause or purpose, abused and murdered their pacific victims, whom they hated for being different. The invaders corrupted the vivid world. The assaulted could not comprehend the masses' brutality. Still, they stayed on, trying to placate their oppressors and recover their past. The cruel interlopers attacked at intervals instead of killing them all at once. The wretched survivors suffered in perpetual fear. Is there a worse fate? You there, come close. I can recite Red Riding Hood backward. I know my multiplication tables, two elevens. I, I have intelligence. Hmm. Really? Persuade me. To remove the obstruction, wake the frog and empty his belly. Wake that? What about its tongue? A and the prospect of warts? Ooh. Anyway, how do you know? I imagined how it was done while I was sleeping.
if I rang that gong, he'll wake up. restless seeker on private business arrived in the misery infested land. She, despite ignorance, uncertainty and unhappiness in her own life, could not endure to see them suffering. She began to fight against the savage murderers, abusers and defilers without quite knowing why or for whose sake she truly fought or how the struggle would end. to find a simulacrum. If I had the time, I'd detail how often you prefer dealing with illusions rather than the real thing. Problems you refuse to deal with don't exist. You deny reality. That's not right. I know what's real. No? Then you allow others to tell you what isn't real. Now, come inside. My memories are shattered. This wicked train has ruined nearly all I can recall. And Wonderland will perish completely as I lose my mind. So much has changed. I can't help Wonderland if I can't help myself. Much has changed, but you've got it backwards. Save Wonderland and you may save yourself. The carpenter was onto something, but he was hiding from the real. Your goal is to accept it. Where should I go then? What should I do? The Queen must be served, Eris. The Queen, in all her guises, must always be served. How can she stem this growing corruption or assess my search? And what does she know that I don't? She is someone you once knew and loved time changes us all. Not all change is good. Remember that when you find the Queen. enough of that. Coming to regular this, Nick Ellis. What's this time, Fred? Howling outside the old lady, muttering about a murder in Threadneedle Street, cursing insects on the National Railroad. Had to bring her in, didn't I? Such a such a menace to herself. But no danger to have her, surely. She don't belong in jail. Too true, but where then does she belong? Let's walk her out, Fred. Send her back to Dr. Bambi. He raised holy hell last time I kept her overnight. Oh, what happened? Same night Jack splattered at the waste of mother's love was nabbed for gutting that heavy outside a mermaid. Yeah, I was taking Alice down and uh, we meet two coppers walking Jack to the cells. He's mad in the usual I never wrong bloke nonsense uh, when he sees Alice. That's a bitch what done it, he yells. She screams, you miserable cur, you leech, you maggot, living off another's labour, etc, etc. I'm admiring her line of inquiry, but suddenly she hits her head or something and fates. Couldn't send her home, could I? And Dr. Bumby pitched a fit.
Said he'd have me jobbing me arse on a plate. <laughs> Told him he could have the former. <laughs> Leave the latter alone, thank you very much. Good night, Alice. <laughs> you know the way out. to admire your handiwork, returning to the scene of the crime. It had to be done, Cat. You said so yourself. You and this Red Queen cannot both survive. She is a cancer in your body. Excise her or perish. Well, she was the face of evil in the heart of darkness. She didn't treat you too well last time. Lost your head, as I recall. She was completely deranged. You picked up her crown, but now you've put it down. You must speak to her, what's left of her anyway. Kingdom's in ruins, but you're no better off. When you defeated her, I tried to reclaim the castle, but I was set upon by her monstrosities. The malignant royal bitch still reigns. I'm here to petition her. I must get inside. The only way in is through me. 
Sacrifices must be made. Those who say so usually mean they should be made by others. Cynicism is a disease. It can be cured. Once inside, beware of the outsized killer who patrols her domain. Never confront him. He is invincible. Now cut me loose. I'll show you the meaning of sacrifice. A prudent exit is no less for being hasty. So has I.
be afraid now. sometimes exposes more reality than the object it echoes. Lizzie hated locked rooms. Her room was further from the fire than mine. Smoke could not have killed her. She never locked her door. And besides, she knew another way out of the house. Out of the window. Someone incapacitated or killed Lizzie. Then locked her door, then took the lamp downstairs and started the fire to cover up their crime. Their plan was to kill us all. Confront what frightens or offends you. Reckless or insulting talk should never go unchallenged.
were once two bits of the same psyche. So where does that leave you? Go away! There's no reason to proceed. I was expecting someone else. You don't know your own mind. It's nearly a complete stranger. What you claim not to know is merely what you've denied. You've recaptured your vagrant memories. What are you doing with them? You once rejected my attempts to control our lives forcefully. But now you've allowed another to succeed in my role. I won't miss your tentacles. You would prefer the hot, stinking breath and unyielding attention of a potent, unreasoning, unfeeling Hellraiser? I don't think so. Can you give me more than a warning? Caterpillar said you might help. I'd need a better reason to respond than what's currently on offer. If you don't, we're all doomed. Not doomed. Forgotten. I may survive here. But you're finished. You see the pattern of destruction? I know you do. The train is trying to destroy all evidence of your past, and especially the fire. Now, who would want that? Who benefits from your madness? The destruction of Wonderland is the destruction of me. Indeed. And vice versa. I've set it in motion. I can derail it. This is good for me. I'm not in suck. I didn't kill my family. I am fine. I'm not mad. I'm innocent. I, I mean, not guilty. What's happening? What are you doing? The train must be stopped. But there's more to do. Your view conceals a tragedy. The whole truth you claim to see eludes you because you won't look at what's around you. There is no method in this madness. My professional opinion, madness is often a treatable disease, though perhaps not in this case. Authority must be obeyed, or it must be overthrown. Cruel to be kind, that's my technique, as they say. But she's as mad as a hat on poor dearie. Worst is over, and over, and over. Forget it, Alice. Forget it. Can't distinguish reality from illusion. Remember your last journey? An elephant never forgets where she left her trunk when traveling by train of a lease. Never bigger than your head. I may be wrong, your grace, but I doubt it. Down this path of primordial ooze and sideways. Indeed, Doctor, well demanded, I'm sure. I mean to say, it's very hot in here. I mean to say, Fuzzy. And she's no helping. Oh no, no help at all. Humiliation, I say. I approve your release and back you come like a bad penny. Reputation in ruins, people talk, Alice. I'm an old dog, ready to bow, don't you know? Oh dear, you must never run away from home. Stay, Alice, sit. This is what's her name from the idiot's ward. Yeah, it's Alice, Uncle's prize lunatic. The instruments are gruesome, but a hole in the head gives the troubles more space. Just the thing for your stone of madness. Good facetious too, maybe. You must be as sick of those as I am hearing you whinge about them.
some mental conditions are relieved by bloodletting. Doctor thinks it won't be effective against your symptoms, but I am at the end of my tether, and these leeches need the work. A baker's dozen, nurse. Let me put them on her. No, me, me. I can make them hurt. I know. Which way's up and which way's down? I was gonna say. No prayers. Don't interrupt. If I can't. Go to the lavatory. Maddening. Yes, you are. But what am I? I'll give you... A present? You shouldn't. I've nothing for you. I defer to your enormous heart, your worship. Just a box. Come now, Alice. Am I not to be as much honoured and obeyed as the Queen? Is that asking too much? I want what she wanted. Give yourself over to that. Trade the tentacles for the train. It's altogether a better ride. It's that, or back to Rutledge. Never a kind word or reward for services rendered. Don't I deserve a bit of luck? Dob Peso was right now, and to me, I say, brought you out of the asylum. Now you go back on your own accord. I told your mother, dear. You're a distant and stubborn child, too content in her own world. Young women need to leave their wonderlands. The real world is not so wonderful. You'll need to grow up. Perhaps some more time in care? You look decent enough, but appearances deceive. I know you for an unstable and violent person. I can't say I'm surprised you've been incarcerated in the asylum again. A long stay under supervision would serve you right. And this fiend's malevolence has eclipsed the conquered queens. They have other parts. The Dollmaker will deprive them of what remains of their deranged souls. They need care. I know their pain. I would assist, but is sanity required for the job? A limited quantity. You're not mad enough to be rejected. You're like them, of them, in a way, but not them. I should say not us, for I'm them, but you're on your way. The way is clearly marked. I believe I know that way, and I'd rather not travel further along it. He's here, you dimwit. <laughs> Get inside.
looks like a perfect fit, and I'm a perfect judge. Time to put your new noggin to use. <laughs> a role in my family's demise, but I did not start the fire. Centaurs don't live in Oxford, but a certain doctor did. I saw him, a preening undergraduate. Now I remember him. That key belongs to Lizzie's room. Am I not the 
the most wretched and selfish of fortune's fools. Oblivious, I live in a training ground for prostitutes. My mentor is an abuser and purveyor. I've been complicit with my sister's murderer and the killer of my family as he corrupted my mind. I sought relief from my pain and you turned me away from the truth. You are almost there. Almost free from what you fear. You could have been cured. You could have forgotten. Abandon the memory of my family. They are dead. And you should be too. You misbegotten abomination. Murderer. You blood-sucking parasite. The damage you've done to children. The abuse. I provide a service. In the great and awful metropolis, appetites of all sorts must be gratified. My family. My mind. The infernal train. The train is your invention, your defense. I merely set its schedule and itinerary. The train is coming with a shiny car. With comfy seats and wheels of stars. So hush, my little ones, have no fear. The man in the moon is the engine here. I'll stop that train, if it's the last thing I do. As you wish, it will be. Your lust, and where your body is, your mind will follow. Perhaps... It's already there. Depravity! Children wearing their names around their necks as if they're breeding livestock! A declaration of their pedigree. You could use one. They're proud to display their provenance. <laughs> you brute! They can't remember who they are or where they're from. How many minds have you twisted into forgetfulness? Not enough. Yours would have been a triumph. Still, you're an insane wreck. My work is done. that drives it. Everything's a nail, is it, Miss Hammerhead? First it was all search, freighted with fear and fragmented memories. Now it's the train. Never time for tea. While your brain's on holiday, we are ruined. Now we're all mad here, and that's a good excuse for going to hell in a teapot, but not for forgetting what your sense is so. Forgetting is just forgetting, except when it's not. Then they call it something else. I'd like to forget what you did. I've tried, but I can't. You've used me and abused me, but you will not destroy me. No, the damage is done. The old Alice and her Wonderland retreat are demolished. You can't even recognize what's happened, and you're powerless to change it or move against me. I've made certain of that. Come to receive your punishment, then. I know I'm guilty of something, but punishment never suits the victims of the crime. Abuse is a crime the strong visit on the weak. And you're right, abusers are insufficiently punished for the damage they do. Those who witness abuse without seeking retribution for the harm pay a penalty. Your own pain mitigates your failure to act earlier, but you may not yet have paid enough for witnessing the pain of others. You 
corrupted my memories, but you failed to make me forget. I could have made you into a tasty bit. Clients out the door waiting for a piece from a raving delusional beauty with no memory of the past or no sense of the future. But you wouldn't forget. You insisted on holding on to your fantasies. You're mad, like your sister. Don't speak of her. You didn't know her. Your sister was a tease, pretended to despise me. She got what she wanted in the end. What is this train's destination? Madness and destruction. You shouldn't ask questions you know the answer to. It's not polite. And that noise wasn't Lizzie talking in her sleep. Oh, no! Oh, poor Lizzie! And there are no centaurs in Oxford. Make your survival mean something, or we are all doomed!
Charged. In prison, some half-wit bruiser will make you his sweetheart, and then you'll hang. Indeed. A hysterical woman, former lunatic, roaring outrageous accusations against a respectable social architect and scientist. My God, Alice, who would believe you? I scarcely believe it myself. You, monstrous creature. Such evil will be punished. By whom? By what? Psychotic, silly bitch. Your madness will be punished. Now leave. I'm expecting your replacement. go home again. No surprise, really. Only a very few find the way, and most of them don't recognize it when they do. Delusions to die hard. Only the savage regard the endurance of pain as the measure of worth. Forgetting pain is convenient. Remembering it, agonizing. But recovering the truth is worth the suffering. And our wonderland, though damaged, is safe in memory for now.